वो है जी आना अब एंड परफेक्टली सेल्फ इन लाइक वह से बेस्ट बुद्धा कंसुमेर इन नॉलेज एंड बेहेवियर हेलो टू यू फ्रेंड्स ऑल बीइंग्स आर बोर्न एंड क्रिएटेड बाय द कम्मा They are formed, shaped, conditioned, elevated, and restricted by their karma. These past actions, this past behavior, is a womb of probability from which they re-emerge. All beings. Are owners of their karma, debtors to their karma, and they inherit their karma. Whatever they do, whether good or bad, the later effects of that will be theirs only. This accumulation of probability follows them. Like a shadow of the past that never leaves. Therefore, does this karma come to divide all beings into high and low, beautiful or ugly? Hello to you friends. This is a small what Buddha said mixed sayings and we are indoor today because uh, it's just been passing a uh, high low pressure as you see there with significant rain approximately 200 mm uh, in 3 days. So a lot of water. The sayings today is turning around the concept of silencing stilling tranquilizing the mind because this inner silence indeed is In many ways, it is the exact opposite state of what today in the modern society is called stress. So, stress is one extreme. Silence is the opposite extreme. And the Buddha recommended it many times. But first. The normal intro. Namo. Tassu. Pakavatto. Arahatto. Samma sambudasa. Worthy. Anabo. And perfectly. Self enlightened, was the blessed Buddha. For your information, is this recorded 4:23 in the morning, in pitch black night, and the sounds outside will come like you hear now. The sense goes like this. Silenced in body, silenced in speech, silenced in mind. Thus accomplished in stilling, blessed with silence. 
is acquired such such one is truly washed of all evil is from the iti utaka thus was it said which you see here 367 next one whose mind is like rock steady unmoved dispassionate for things that spark passion unangered by things that spark anger when one whose mind is developed like this from where for such one can there come any suffering or stress Udana the inspirations 434 and then comes a small uh, verse also like Goenka which I'm uh, more and more inspired by actually which has recently passed away unfortunately uh, from the Vipassana Insight Meditation Society which I can recommend which has sent us all over the world I give the link below uh, probably also on your continent and they provide regular uh, each center five or six ten meditation courses ten day meditation courses a year I'll give the link below both in the videos and in the audios the mind can be wicked the mind can be gentle The mind can be a foe or a friend. If the mind is transformed, all is transformed. If the mind is improved, all is improved. So make your mind truly pure. So make your mind spotlessly pure. Is in Quinka. So uh, I think it's evident and obvious that the stilled, silenced, pure mind. without this inner mental chatter wanting, hoping, babbling angered or desirous if there is no chatter in the mind no noise, no disturbance because the mind has been silenced and purified then this chatter this unrest this agitation arising from urge lust desire wanting or hoping or produced by opposition dislike irritation or anger it cannot arise this inner mental chatter and similarly, no external dripping out of loose talk or unwise behavior arising from urge, lust, desire, wanting or hoping or produced by opposition, dislike, anger or irritation. It cannot drip out. It cannot come out. Why not? Because there is nothing in there that can drip out through mental agitation, through speech, 
or through unwise behavior. So, indeed so, silence, mental silence, is bliss. One way of coming to this silence is to revolve and uh, develop one of the four Brahma Viharas, the last one, Upekka, equanimity or serenity, uh, systematically. I've done this regularly. And uh, this equanimity, this evenness of mind, equipoise, that cannot be upset by any gain or loss, that cannot be disturbed by any honor or dishonor, praise or blame, and it's not even agitated or upset by any pleasure or pain. This evenness of mind, it just looks on whatever state whether internal or external, whether mental or physical, comes and goes. It just looks on, just looks on. And says, so what? So, it's not upset, it does not leave this equipas, this evenness, this thusness of silence is just stay put there and see it pass. It has seen it before many times, so it knows it already before it arrives. Whether it's fame or name or praise or blame, pleasure or pain, gain or loss, it has seen it a billion times before. It is so banal. So why be upset about it? Why? Any agitation over these, whether external or internal states, whether past events or memories, whether the present state or something that will happen in the future, no need to buzz around with it. Stay put in this inner mental silence, because silence is, is bliss. Thank you. Namo. Tasso Pacavato Aratto Samma Sambutasa Boyle Anabo and perfectly self enlightened was a bliss Buddha indeed. And may you and all beings have a nice day and life and path to the silence and this Nibbana. Thank you. You heard Bhikkhu Samaita from the Cypress Hermitage on the Knuckles Mountain, Bamparella, Central Hill Country, Sri Lanka. Please subscribe to the Google group Buddha Direct and visit the website whatbuddhasit.net. May all beings 
become thus happy. Thereby, thank you. Namo, Tasso, Bhagavato, Arahato, Samma Sambuddhasa, Worthy, Honorable, and perfectly self enlightened was the blessed Buddha. Thank you for your contribution and have a nice.